Hey YouTube, Shea Bear here and Monkey. Oh, she's got a spoon in her mouth. She's eating one of these little what the f why do you got that there for me to <sighs> She got these pretty cool. Got a little spoon, a little chicken salad thing, and it comes with crackers. Pretty neat, like a little snack thing. So anyway, we're on our way to go get her mom, then we're gonna go out to where her mom's camper is, and I'm gonna show you how to find out how a roof is leaking in a camper so stick with us yeah i'll show you how to do that <laughs> are you a bad boy you're bad you're bad boy who you growling at? Huh? You bad? You bad? Okay guys, here's the camper. Let's go in and see what we got going on here. Okay, so it's looking like it's leaking right here. See that? See, a lot of times, a lot of times, guys, they'll leak around this air conditioner unit. But, okay, so we're going to go up here and see if we can see something. Right there. Right there's the issue. leaking around here I would bet anything because you see the rest of the top there's nowhere else it could leak right where it's coming from and also probably need to check that air conditioner there and probably that vent but usually those vents ain't gonna leak around there because those didn't don't get sealed anyway um, they just hook on to the actual vent itself so they usually if it's leaking air it's the vent itself and I didn't see anything in the bathroom around that I didn't see anything around the air conditioner so I'm thinking this has got issues here so A lot of times these things leak because they are screwed onto the roof. So that's how you look for leaks. And as you can see, this is a seamless roof, so there's no seams that can be leaking. Sometimes they can leak around the edge here, but that's more coming from the center. So I'm guessing it's going in here, it's settling right in here, and then it's dispersing both ways. So, uh, now we're going to move the ladder around here and we're going to go up and check on the front. Alright, now we know the front has a leak from looking in the cabinets. So, a lot of times they'll leak right in here. I see a little cracking there. Uh, a little right here. But my guess is it's all coming from that antenna right up there so that's how you check for a leak in a camper so let's get back in here and look at this again that is a seamless roof so see it's like see this this is for your antenna this is what makes your antenna go up and down so I think it's coming in here and it's laying down in here and it's also traveling to the back so I see nothing around here this is the air conditioner it seems good this seems all nice and tight here so nothing's leaking around here 
Uh, but the floor right here is very weak. So it's definitely it's definitely getting water in it. So and you check everything, make sure everything is checked. Double check, but I'm I'm guessing that's the culprit right there because as you can see it kind of dips down there. And that water's laying there, and then once it fills up, it starts traveling back and also down through there. So, and once you can smell it in here, you can smell the mustiness. And once these get wet, you know, it's just that real thin, like uh, what they used to call it, paneling stuff is underneath that. Once that gets wet, it'll never dry. And here's another thing right here. Let me get a light on for you here. It's really bad in here. It's really bad in there. So, uh, I will go around and check the other corner over here on this side from the outside. And we'll check. It could be coming in there as well. So, but it would need a whole new ceiling. Uh, all this would have to come out, so these cabinets will have to come out, so you can see it's been wet here. And in order to replace all this, so the bed would have to come out. See, because this would all have to be replaced because that ain't never going to dry in there, ever. No matter how long you leave the windows open. This stuff don't dry, folks. Let's go outside and see what we can see out there. But I know it's coming from the top down, so it's resting down in there. See that? So that's how you can tell. There's a little discoloring on the carpet there. There's another, because that carpet will get wet and it kind of, you know. So it's another another clue. So this is how you how you can tell if you got a leak. And then we may or may not fix this. I'm not sure, but I know they're not gonna because they're trying to sell it. So they're not gonna want to fix this in here. But if we can get the leak stopped, that'll be one less worry for someone else. So. Just out of curiosity. Okay, see, it's getting, it's leaking in there, and there as well. So that's why I'm thinking it's coming from the top. Cause see, this right here, it's because it's, it's wet. So I'm thinking it's running down. So let's go out here and see what's going on outside again. Okay, looks like it's sealed decent, but water could be getting in them cracks there. See, it's coming down out of here pretty good. That's still wet. Uh, so my guess is right up here, guys. That's where the leak is on this corner right there. It's going in and running down so we found the leak and uh, also those gutters getting clogged see those are little gutters there so let's see I'll show you that through there that's like a little rain gutter they get clogged and water has nowhere to go it'll go to the nearest hole if you got a pinhole in there it's gonna find its way and it'll get bigger so see same way with this uh, I would coat the I would coat the edges all the way around seal all the corners and the uh, uh, around that antenna is if it was mine that antenna would go but there you go if anybody is interested in it to you know, does it is going to need a little work, but uh, let me know because it's for sale. So, that's the propane tank area. I mean, it looks it looks dry in here, so this is not leaking. 
Alright, these are all levels. I guess the landing gear doesn't work. The batteries would be in there, but I guess it didn't work. So they had to use these jacks to raise this thing up. So, I don't know. There's a... Uh, there's just uh it does need some work. All right guys. So, that's how you look for leaks on these campers. Mobile home, the same exact way, especially an older one. This is a nice camper, but it does have a leak and if uh if they want to fix it then We'll fix the leak for them, but I doubt if they're going to want to put the money in to the inside and then try to sell it because, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of money, but it, it still is a nice trailer. It is salvageable, so, you know, if you got the money and time to put into it, it's, it's, it's great. But, so, I'm going to go for now. That's how you check for leaks in a camper trailer. So, I'll talk. I thought I seen a spider. I'll talk to you guys soon. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Hope you learned something. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Whew. May. 89 degrees in the shade. Gotta love Florida, guys.